Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all enjoying the new Phoenix version 2 block 2 for the Airbus A320 in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's a really immersive, uh, fantastic update released recently for the sim. And one question that I've had quite a lot of in the last week or so is how do you do cabin announcements and that is what all of this video is going to be about. So hit like and subscribe, share any thoughts, tips, tricks in the comments section below. First things first, take a look at the description for the video today and you're going to find a link to a Discord server. Hopefully it'll stay active for the lifetime of the video, but if it doesn't, you just have to find sources elsewhere. And it'll take you to this Discord server called Cabin Announcements for the Fenix A320, a collection from the community of various sound packs for many different airlines. Effectively then, what you can do is just download the cabin announcements that you want. You can make your own as well if you want. There's lots of information on the knowledge base at fenixsim.com. And you can install them into your simulator using a set format piece. Let's have a look at that Discord server that we mentioned. Here it is. And the link again will be in the description, providing the link doesn't change. And providing the Discord server doesn't close for whatever reason then uh, you'll be able to click the link and join the Discord and find all of these liveries for various airlines and uh, it's increasing each day for you to download and install into your Phoenix A320. We're in a British Airways livery today so you could download, uh, you can scroll down to the British Airways one here and you can download the relevant pack that they've created down the bottom there BAW.RA and you'll notice various other airlines listed here as well now I've specifically chosen a British Airways livery today because I want to show you a nuance or something to consider when installing some of these packs. But you can go through, download as many of these as you want. They are zipped or, or compressed into a RAW format folder. Um, what you want to do is extract the main contents of that so you're not going to just install the zip. Same you would as a livery. If you get stuck at any point kb.fenixsim.com block 2 cabin announcements guide gives you the folder structure and uh, hints and tips in relation to getting all of this working. You can actually disable these in the EFB. There's a setting to disable the cabin announcements should you, uh, should you wish to turn them off for a particular flight as well. And if you're not getting any cabin announcements check it's actually toggled on. So let's talk about the folder structure. If you're using something like add-on linker and you're installing lots of stuff outside of the sim then you'll be familiar with how to link that across if you were to create the same structure outside of the community folder but we're going to keep it very pure and install this directly into the community folder as I've got it in my own sim. So unless you've already done it you want to go into your community folder and you want to right click and create a new folder and call it FNX Announcements. It's the one I've highlighted on the screen there. The reason why I've left it as the recommended FNX Announcements is because it actually puts it into a nice list and in line with the official Fenix A320 folder and the official Fenix A320 liveries folder for those liveries that we've installed via the Fenix official livery manager. So all my Fenix things tend to be in one place because of it. When you've created this folder structure here, F uh, FNX Announcements, double click, go into it. And then you want to right click, press new, and create another new folder called Announcements. And it's important that these ones now are all spelt correctly. So, once you've created this called Announcements, double click, and then you'll enter that empty folder. If you've just gone over to that Discord server or you've created your own sound files in the .ogg format and you're ready to put them into the aircraft now, this is where you place the folders. So you'll notice they're extracted. I haven't got any zips in here or anything like that. And if I click into the BAW folder here, there's no additional folder. It just loads straight into the announcements that I've uh, installed inside this BAW pack. So we've got British Airways, we've got BVX which is the ICAO code for Osprey Airways, our channel's virtual airline. 
And then we've got EFW and SHT. For those of you familiar with the British Airways call sign structures, you'll notice um, SHT being shuttle for those British Airways domestic hops. Heathrow to Manchester and back, Heathrow Edinburgh and back, so on and so forth. But EFW is a bit of a new one because post-COVID, British Airways has branched off the Gatwick fleet and they've now created a subsidiary called BA Euroflyer who actually use a different ICAO code. They use Echo Foxtrot Whiskey, as you can see in the folder there. But they also use their own call sign of Griffin. They don't use the Speedbird call sign. So, if, like we've done today, we load in in the uh, Ethereum liveries Phoenix official A320 British Airways livery, Golf Echo Uniform Uniform Whiskey, it's a BA mainline aircraft. And because of that, we need to make sure that we've got, for a cabin announcement that we want to hear, a folder structure and all our announcements listed in BAW. But if we download a British Airways Euroflyer livery, the ICAO code for the airline inside the aircraft config of the livery will say EFW. And if it does, you won't get any of your BAW folder structure play throughout your flight because it doesn't match the ICAO code in the livery to the folder structure in your announcements pack here. So how do you check or change that? For any official liveries, what you can do, and we'll compare the BA and the Euroflyer one now, we can head back to our community folder, go into the Phoenix Aircraft 320 liveries folder structure, and then we'll see all the ones that I've downloaded. And these are the official Phoenix ones included in the livery manager from the development team. And you'll see it's pulled into CFM and IAE operator. We've got BAW there, which is the livery we're using today. Golf Echo Uniform Uniform Whiskey. But you've also got the Gatwick British Airways Euroflyer subsidiary livery here. Of uh, Golf Golf Alpha Tango Kilo with the ICAO code Echo Foxtrot Whiskey. So in our BA livery today, the BA cabin announcements will play based on events throughout the flight. But if we were loading in using an EFW livery, then we need to make sure we've got a sound pack with EFW as the title name, as we just showed a minute ago. And to double check to see what's in the aircraft config, you can just go into the folder structure of any livery and you'll find this aircraft.config folder. Double click. And now on the screen, you're going to see on the left, the aircraft config file for the livery we just spoke about. And on the right, the different ICAO code folders for the announcements that we've got set up in the Phoenix. So on your notepad, you wanna have a little look through all of this config file for one line and it's this one here ICAO underscore airline equals and whatever that says is what the Phoenix announcement system is going to be looking for in your folder structure so I've downloaded this BAW pack what I've done is I've actually copied and pasted that into a new one and I renamed it to EFW so that I had uh, one sound pack that covers both situations, a BA Eurofly Griffin flight or a British Airways Speedbird flight. So we've done all that. How do we hear those cabin announcements? If we snap the view back a little bit to look a bit more at the comm stack, you'll notice all of these volume knobs down here and it's always got VHF1 tuned in and turned on by default because that's what we use when we're flying in the captain's seat. Now, depending on what size of sound pack you've got installed and what events are within those, there could be boarding music through to welcome on board messages, uh, and they can be split between morning, afternoon, and evening sequencing as well. So it depends on how detailed and how in-depth that sound pack goes. You still might not be able to hear anything. So remember earlier, we mentioned on the tablet, there's a setting in here, in sim settings, for cabin announcements. You've got to make sure that it is enabled to, for you to be able to hear it. If it is, based on the events of what's happening to the aeroplane, for example, push back an engine start, 
uh, will trigger the safety demonstration. In order to hear it, you need to locate this little volume dial here and press it. And if it's illuminated, it's on. And it simulates effectively uh, all of that audio coming through your headset. You can turn it up to increase the volume. And if it's a bit too loud, you can turn it down based on your preference. And if you don't want to hear it anymore, and you're getting distracted, you can just turn it off. And after about a second, it will cut that feed from you. It will still play in the background, you just won't be able to hear it. So a minute later, you could click it again and you could probably still potentially hear the safety demonstration still being played in the background. Once all that's complete and we've begun our taxi and we get to the threshold and uh, we're almost ready to take off, we're going to hear a chime that we haven't heard before. And that chime is the cabin crew advising us that the crew have done the cabin secure and that the cabin is secure for takeoff or prepared for takeoff. So you'll hear a chime noise, it's a bit of an odd one, catches me out a few times as well. And then if you look down just above this PA volume knob here, you'll see cabin. And above that, this little square that I've just pressed to go green, it will be flashing ATT, and that's because the crew are trying to get your attention. So you can press that and that will allow you to then open the feed and hear the crew on the phone uh, and you can also press that button there to mimic talking back if you wish as well. And then when you're done make sure you're back on VHF1 if you're using VHF1 and you can press that to turn off the cabin volume. And that folks is everything so if you found it useful hit like and subscribe do share your thoughts in the comments section below and I'll hopefully see you for a flight in the very near future. But as always, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Take care.